Welcome to my video. This is an introduction to the DSP tremolo settings on a Yamaha PSR E463 keyboard. Let me start by talking about what's the difference between tremolo and vibrato. There's been a lot of confusion over the years in these two names. Vibrato varies the pitch of the music. For example, let's say I'm going to sing Silent Night. I could sing it like this with no vibrato. Silent night, holy night. Or I could put vibrato in my voice and it would sound something like this. Silent night, holy night. We're all very familiar with that. So that's what vibrato is. I'm actually changing the pitch of the notes in my throat. So what's tremolo? Tremolo varies the volume of the music. So it 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 vacillates back and forth from high to low to high to low, sometimes very rapidly, and you get this wavering effect. I'm going to play this for you in just a second, so bear with me right now. But So technically, that's the difference. It's the difference between changing the pitch or changing the volume. Now, unfortunately, several decades ago, uh, guitar makers put this bar on our guitars. I had one. And when I pressed on it, it would change the strings. It would lower or raise the strings. Unfortunately, they called it a tremolo bar. And that was a totally misnamed apparatus. It did not change the volume, which is what tremolo does. It changed the pitch. So they should have called this a vibrato bar. <laughs> But they didn't. They unfortunately called it the tremolo bar, and so there's been this confusion uh, ever since the 40s or 50s when they put these bars on the guitars and misnamed them. The truth is, most people can't tell the difference between vibrato and tremolo when they hear it. They can tell that it's different, but they don't really know why it's different. Today, you can buy these devices. Here's a couple of them. Here is a vibrato device. Uh, you plug your guitar into it and then plug it into your amplifier. This actually sits on the floor and you press it with your foot. So they're called stomp boxes. It's about the size of the palm of my hand. So this vibrato stomp box cost about $236 on Amazon. Here's one that does tremolo. And once again, it's a stomp box. I plug my guitar into this and then run that into my guitar amplifier. And this is $160. So, which one does the PSR E463, which one does it have? Does it have vibrato or does it have tremolo settings in the digital signal processor? And the answer is... It has both of these, and I'm going to tell you what they're called. So, in the E463, the vibrato is called rotary SP. That's, what it, that's what's in the little window when you go into the digital signal processor and turn on vibrato. This stands for rotary speaker. So what they're doing is they're simulating a Leslie speaker that spins around and around and around, and that, chair, that changes the frequency of the music. On the other hand, we also have built into our keyboard tremolo, and it is simply called tremolo. So in the digital signal processor, when I go in there, I can select tremolo. So we have both of these. And you can use either one. To get into the digital signal processor, what you do is you press and hold this DSP key. 
And in the window, you will begin to see the different types of digital signal processors. Uh, number 01 is the rotary SP. Uh, number seven is the tremolo. So you simply use the dial wheel and you dial up which one of these settings you want. Okay? So let's now go to the E463 keyboard and let's listen to vibrato and tremolo, which is all being created and handled by the digital signal processor, which is a very fancy computer chip inside my keyboard. Let's go listen to these. Here we are at the Yamaha PSR E463 keyboard. And the first thing I want to do is I've set up my keyboard as an oboe. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a vibrato to that. And then after we listen to that, then I will go and apply the tremolo to that. So you can hear the difference between vibrato and tremolo. In review, I've held down the DSP button and with my rotary wheel, I have dialed up rotary SP, which is number zero one. So that is the rotary speaker and what it simulates is that Leslie speaker that I talked about in a video I did a couple of days ago. And what vibrato does is it varies the pitch varies the pitch of the music. So here it is, and what I will do is I will slowly crank in using the A knob, I will crank in more and more vibrato. Ready, here we go. You can hear it there, wah, wah, wah. Now a little faster. A little faster yet. A little faster yet. Real fast. Now go the other way and slow it down. Now, I'm going to change from vibrato to tremolo. And I'll use my dial wheel and I'll dial in 07 in my DSP settings, which is tremolo. And I'll start with nothing and I'll slowly crank in some tremolo. So what tremolo does is it varies the volume of the sound. Vibrato varied the pitch, up and down, up and down. Tremolo varies the loudness of the music. Okay, so that's the difference between vibrato and tremolo. In the keyboard, the vibrato setting is 01 in the DSP, which is called rotary SP, rotary speaker. In other words, what it's doing is it's spinning the speaker around and that changes the pitch. The tremolo what we're doing is we're raising and lowering the volume of the music very rapidly. Okay? So now what I want to do is I'm going to set up my keyboard 
uh, and play a couple of songs to show you how you might actually use tremolo in a real song. So the first thing to do is we need to set up the style and the voice. Got my little cheap sheet here. So the style, I want 124, one, two, four, which is country 2-4. And on the voice, voice, I want 046, 046, which is a clean electric guitar. And uh, here's my style. And on temp, I want 105. Okay, that's good. And so now I'm going to set up my DSP. So after I have my style and my voice, the last thing you set up is the DSP. So I'm going to press and hold DSP as I watch my screen. And now I'm going to dial in Tremolo, which is setting 07 in the DSP. Okay. Now let me let me set the speed on my tremolo. That's about where I want it. And the song I'm going to play is something back from when I was a freshman in high school. There was a guy that had a twangy guitar by the name of Dwayne Eddy. And one of his big hits was something called Rebel Rouser. And he, he had a lot of tremolo cranked into his guitar. And so I'm going to try to play Rebel Rouser the way Dwayne Eddy did. guitar with a lot of tremolo cranked into it. Okay, now I want to set up another song. So style 037, style 037, which is called Guitar Ballad, and the voice 048, 048, which is called Clean Guitar. <laughs> And now I'm going to turn on the DSP and uh, I'm going to crank it up to number seven, which is tremolo. Okay. Now let me adjust this. <laughs> about the right effect and so oh I also want to turn on duet harmony so I'm pressing and holding the harmony button and now I've got to dial in duet okay go back to my DSP type 
All right. So here is a 1957-58 uh, Les Paul and Mary Ford song called Abaya con Dios, Go With God. Okay, that's Tremlo, which is one of the DSP digital signal processing options built into the E463 keyboard. I hope you have found this helpful. If you have, leave me a comment. Until we meet again, thank you for watching and be well.